Every cyberpunk city has a heartbeat and it starts right here on the rooftops. I've built a full cyberpunk rooftop asset pack to help you bring your worlds to life. This pack includes over 40 detailed assets, edge packs, vents, antennas, neon signs, satellite dishes, electrical boxes, fences, tanks and more. Everything is modular, versatile and optimized for Blender. Includes ACs and HVAC units for the gritty rooftop feel, antennas, vents, exhausts and emissive lights for the neon cyberpunk feel, water tanks, neon ads, rooftop signage to add to that glowing cyberpunk energy. All the assets are asset browser ready and I'll show you how to use them in Blender just in the next step. Though these might not hold up for hero close-up renders, you can use these assets to quickly mock up rooftop skyline renders for your sci-fi or cyberpunk scenes. Download the cyberpunk rooftop pack from the Gumroad link. You can extract it and find a readme file with the details of the pack. Copy the file path where you extracted the folder. Then go into Blender, Edit, Preferences. Click plus on the asset libraries and paste the file path that you just copied. Now save preferences. When you open asset browser in your blender, you can see the rooftop asset pack with all the assets neatly categorized into their different categories. Just drag and drop them into your scene and select the empty that they are parented to to change the scale, position or rotation. You can animate some of the assets like the CCTV cameras. For example, if you select this empty axis, you can rotate and keyframe it to animate the CCTV camera. Also for the vents and fans, just select the fan and set origin to the geometry and then you can animate them along any axis you want. I just put together a scene really quickly in under a couple of hours to just show you how useful this pack is for my scenes and hopefully for your future Blender projects as well. I added a plane with a wet ground material and just dragged and dropped some of the assets from the asset pack. Scale, rotate and position them however you want. After adding a few more details like antennas, ACs, satellite dishes, etc. I added some neon signage, some off camera, some on camera just to cast some interesting lights and reflections. Next I used an array modifier with the fences in the asset pack to create railings around the building. Duplicate, rotate and position them and change the count to your liking. This was a really quick scene that I put together for the sake of this video and I rendered it last night so it's really noisy but it shows the power of this asset pack. I really needed to model these assets for my scenes to quickly drag and drop so I thought why not release them for free for you guys as well. So a lot more asset packs are on the way because I'm designing more drag and drop assets to quickly build cyberpunk and sci-fi scenes without having to think about where to find the assets from. I'll regularly keep updating the old packs and also keep adding new varieties of packs for you guys to quickly build your scenes. Enjoy the time lapse of the remaining build of the scene. The final render is at the end as well. This scene had basically nothing, just some assets dropped onto different roof models. The main roof had a wet reflective texture and none of the other roofs even had separate textures. They were just dark base colored principal BSDFs. Most of the heavy lifting was done with the neon light strips, ads and volumetric scatter. You can download the asset pack right now from my Gumroad page and try building out a scene for yourself. Follow me on Instagram and do share your work. I would love to see what you guys create. And stay tuned for more videos, asset packs and upcoming news about my original stories and shorts soon.